state-of-the-art equipment, award-winning architecture, and major heavy civil construction, deep tunnels and shafts, large concrete structures, and lots and lots of dirt. When you see all of this together, would a stormwater treatment and conveyance system come to mind? Introducing the West Donlands Stormwater Quality Facility and Outfall, a project that is offering a glimpse into the future of urban stormwater management. Located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, this $25 million stormwater treatment facility and conveyance system is being constructed as part of a massive waterfront revitalization project. Waterfront Toronto, the organization tasked with managing the revitalization, is pushing ahead with the largest urban renewal project in Canada. As part of this revitalization, the former industrial area, east of the downtown core, known as the West Donlands, is being transformed into a beautiful, sustainable, mixed-use neighbourhood. This area will also be home to the new Pan Am Athletes Village. When Toronto hosts the Pan American Games, stormwater management and flood mitigation are critical issues to the success of this revitalization project, as the West Don lands are located within the floodplain of the Don River, Toronto's largest river. It was soon found that there was an added complexity to the project newly released stringent stormwater treatment requirements. To protect the environment, the City of Toronto implemented new guidelines regarding the management and treatment of stormwater. Meeting these guidelines required not only expertise in stormwater management, but also wastewater treatment expertise. The new stormwater quality facility uses treatment equipment normally used in traditional wastewater processes. So how does this new facility work? The storm sewer network collects stormwater from the West Donlands area. A large oil grit separator unit containing twin oil grit separators removes sediment, captures oil, and screens for debris and neutrally buoyant material. In the West Donland system, the oil grit separators are the first level of treatment and with a combined flow of 1.75 cubic meters per second, they are the largest installation of their kind in Canada. The stormwater then flows into a storage tank, where it is pumped to ballasted flocculation tanks at a combined flow rate of 400 liters per second. Here, the stormwater is mixed with chemicals and sand, and the pollutant solids rapidly settle out. This is the first use of this proven technology on pure stormwater. The clarified stormwater then flows into the final stage of treatment, UV disinfection. The open channel, low pressure UV disinfection system uses ultraviolet light to deactivate organisms and bacteria. The treated water is then conveyed through an underground tunnel and discharged into Lake Ontario at the Keating Channel. These tunnels were constructed by boring through bedrock beneath the soil. An overflow with adequate weir length was achieved by a vertical standpipe in the centre of the storage shaft with a funnel-like weir structure located at the top. This innovative storage component attenuates the flows sent to the stormwater quality facility, allowing the ballasted flocculation and UV equipment to be sized for much lower flows. The tunnels and shafts are now constructed, with construction of the treatment building beginning in the summer of 2012. Construction is scheduled to continue until mid-2013, and when it is finished, this new facility could just be a model of urban storm water treatment in the future.